This is the Neural Network Classification workflow in Elastic. This workflow allows you to apply pre-trained neural network models that people have shared on the bioimage.io model zoo to your images. To start the workflow, you click the button on the main menu, Neural Network Classification, and then you choose an appropriate location to save the project file. It makes sense to keep it close to the data, so I'm just going to put it here, in this folder where I also have the images. After just a second, Elastic will have started the workflow. Here we go. Now, at the first step of the workflow, we have to choose some input data. So for this, I click on an Add New, add some images, and I'll just choose one of the images that we'll have, we have here. This looks good. So here we have an image of just some nuclei stained with DAPI most likely, and we'll try to segment these using a neural network. Now that I've chosen the input image, I can proceed to step two, the neural network prediction. So I click on step two. Here on the second step, on the left side, there is a text input box where we will have to put the identifier of the model that we want to run on the image. First, we have to find the identifier. So for this, we have to go to bioimage.io. There is also a link here, download models, which takes us directly there. So I'll click here. And here we are on bioimage.io. Here we can scroll down and look at the models that are available. Normally for this example, I would enter nuclei in the search bar and then look at the images of the remaining models to find one that shows light microscopy images. But purely for demonstration purposes, I will at first go with a model that is actually unsuitable for the task, but still comp compatible with the data, which is this one. So I'll take this ID by clicking on the button here to copy the name, the nickname. I'll paste it in the text box and then click the green arrow to load the model. Now Elastic will download the model and in just a second, we'll be ready to try it. Here we go. The model is downloaded and we can try it out by clicking on live prediction. Now the model is running and this can take quite a while depending on how large the image is. In this case, it's just a single 2D image. So this was quite fast but it can help to reduce the image size if this takes a long time. So for example, you might crop your stack or just take a few slices out of your 3D image to try it out while you're still figuring out which model works on your data. In this case, uh, these results look quite promising. It looks like this model produced two labels. The first one, if I increase the opacity here, the first one it looks like is this yellow one, which looks like it's the segmentation of the nuclei themselves. And if I turn this off, we can see the second one is this blue label, which looks like it's the boundary of the nuclei. So this looks pretty decent, but I think maybe we can do better. So I'll go back and try a second model. So to do this first, I'll click the red cross here to unload the currently loaded model. And then inside the text box, I'll click the red cross here to clear the selection. Then I'll go back to my browser, the window still open, and we'll choose a different model. How about this one called Nuclear Segmentation Boundary Model? That even sounds like exactly what we're trying to do anyway. So I'll copy the nickname here, paste it in Elastic, and then click the green arrow to download the model. And finally, once the download is done, I'll click live prediction again to try this second model out. And here are the results. It does look like this one is much better. This has caught a lot more of the nuclei. And if I increase the visibility of the first label, this looks quite sharper on the edges. And if we look at the second label for the boundaries, these also look much sharper than previously. So this is exactly as I wanted, and therefore I'm going to continue next to the third step, the data export. This is the usual export step as in other Elastic workflows, if you've tried them before. So here, for example, you could click on choose Im export image settings to change export settings like the file names or the name of the data set inside the file. For me, this is all fine with the standard, so I'm going to leave it as it is. 
Now I could click export all to get this export for my test image that I've chosen. But I'm trying to do this for the whole bunch of images that I have. So I'll continue to step four, the batch processing. And this will apply the processing to all the images that I select on this step. So I'll click on select raw data files and I will select all of the images that I have in my folder here. And then I'll click process all files and that will use the data export settings to produce the output images. And here we go. The export has finished. I can now navigate to the folder. And here in the output folder, we can see now next to each of the images, there is also a probabilities file generated by the processing. At this point, we could, for example, in Fiji, use the Elastic plugin to import the processing output and analyze the segmented objects. I hope this short overview was helpful. For more detail, feel free to refer to the documentation on the website elastic.org. Or for more detailed questions, you can go to the image.sc forum and post your question there with the Elastic tag. There is also, if I close the project file here, in the main menu, there's a direct link to the forum, get in touch. If you click here, it'll take you straight there. So thank you for watching and good luck.